So the most common questions uh, asked by doctor is what is infertility? Now in general fertility is defined as not being able to get pregnant or conceive after one year of unprotected sex. So women who do not have regular menstrual cycles or are who are older than 35 years have not conceived during a six period month of trying should consider making an appointment with a reproductive endocrinologist uh, with a specialist doctor who deals with infertility. So these doctors may have been able to help women with recurrent pregnancy loss to our more spontaneous miscarriages. So pregnancy is the result of a process that has many steps, you know. And now to get pregnant, uh, a woman's body must release an egg from one of her ovaries, which is called ovulation. A man's sperm must join the egg along the way, which is called fertilization. The fertilized egg must go through the fallopian tube toward the uterus, which is in common words, we call it womb. Now the fertilized egg must attach to the inside of the uterus, which is called implantation. Now infertility may result from a problem with any or several of these steps, you know. So the impaired <coughs> fusidid, excuse me, Now the impairment is a condition related to the infertility and refers to women who have difficulty getting pregnant or carrying a pregnancy to the term. Now the next most common question is, is how, how common is the infertility? Now about 6% of the married women between the age of 15 to 45 years of age in the United States are unable to get pregnant after one year of unprotected sex. Now, approximately 6% of the married women aged between 15 and uh, 44 years of age are unable to get pregnant after one year of unprotected sex. So, also about 12% of women between the age of 15 and 44 years of the, uh, in <clears throat> have difficulty getting pregnant and carrying pregnancy to the term regardless of the marital status. Now the next most often question is asked is the is infertility just a woman's problem? No it's not. Infertility is not always a woman's problem. Both men and women contribute equally. So many couples struggle with the infertility and seek help to become pregnant. However it is often thought of as only women's condition you know. Now a CDC study analyzed uh, the data from the 2002 National Survey of Family Growth and found that 7.5% cases of all sexually experienced men younger than the age of 45 reported seeing a fertility doctor during their lifetime. This equals 3.3 to 4.7 million men of men sought help. So 80% were diagnosed with the male related infertility problems including sperm and semen problems which are 14% and varicocele which are 6%. Now the main causes of the infertility in men are uh, there are multiple factors you know and typically evaluated by a semen analysis. A specialist will evaluate the number of sperm which we call the sperm count is the motility and morphology so which means that the movement of the sperms and the shape you know are they normal shape or the d shaped you know now a slightly abnormal semen analysis does not may, uh, mean that the man is uh, infertile you know so instead a semen analysis helps to determine how healthy the sperms are so conditions that can contribute to abnormal semen uh, analysis include varicoceles. Varicoceles is a condition in which the veins in the man's testicles are large and cause them to overheat. So this heat may affect the number and the shape of the semen. Now the medical conditions are exposure such as diabetes, cystic fibrosis or trauma or infection, testicular failure or 
treatment with chemotherapy or the radiation could be another factor of abnormal or low number of uh, uh, semen in the uh, sperms in the semen you know so the unhealthy habits such as heavy alcohol use testosterone supplements smoking anabolic steroids used and uh, illicit drugs can be another factor you know so environmental toxins including exposure to the pesticides may lead to the infertility now what are the causes the next question what are the causes of infertility in women as i told earlier the women uh, and the chances of infertility in women and male are nearly equal you know so the women need functioning ovaries fallopian tubes and uterus to get pregnant now the conditions affecting any one of these organs can contribute to female infertility so some of these conditions are list um, and next i'm going to explain to you you know now the ovarian function which means the presence or absence of ovulation and effects of ovarian age now the ovulation now the regular predictable period that occurs every 24 to 30 days likely or reflect ovulation you know so ovulation can be predicted by using a ovulation predictor kit and can be confirmed by a blood test to see the woman's progesterone levels you know a woman's menstrual cycle is on average 28 days long so day one is defined as the first day of the full flow now a woman with regular periods is likely not ovulating so this may be because of several reasons you know uh, and warrants an evaluation by an expert doctor you know now the potential causes of evolution include cause of an evolution include the following polycystic ovary syndrome which is also called pcos this is a hormone imbalance problem that can interfere with the normal with the normal evolution so pcos is the most common cause of female infertility now the functional hypothalamic and amenorrhea relates to an excessive physical and emotional stress that results in the amenorrhea which means no periods now diminished ovarian reserve this occurs when the ability of the ovary to produce eggs is reduced because of the congenital medical surgical or unexplained causes so ovarian reserves naturally decline with the age now the premature ovarian ovarian insufficiency which is called POI it occurs when a woman's ovaries fail before she's at the age of 40 so it is similar to the premature menopause you know the next main cause is menopause you know it's an age appropriate decline in ovarian function that usually occurs around the age of 50 so it's often associated with the heart flashes and irregular periods now the ovary function to assess the ovarian function there are multiple tests you know so that can be done you know so no single test is perfect predictor of fertility now the most commonly used markers of ovarian function include follicle stimulating hormone tests uh, value on day three and five of the menstrual cycle you know so and this is the most important you know and the next one is uh, enter follicle count using the transvaginal ultrasound and this is a very important test you know uh, to assess to evaluate the fertility um, status you know of the woman